The Wild West. A place of beauty filled with simple folk, a mostly rural environment. Of course, you've got your outlaws, so it's not hard to believe that such a beautiful place could house so much evil. Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. You're... I guess I was told. Apparently that evil entails me as well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an example of this evil, a particular serial killer who is on the loose near the settlement of Valentine. I do believe you can pick this up as a side mission known as American Dreams from the Sheriff in Valentine, though you can also stumble upon this evil yourself. First location you're going to want to come to is this one just south of the settlement of Valentine. Though the order in which you do them does not matter, this is probably the most convenient. As you can see, we've been greeted by quite the gruesome sight of a dismembered corpse, with a human torso hanging from a small bridge. Next to the corpse, you'll find the words, Look on my works. This corpse was clearly strung on display by some deranged psychopath who was clearly killed before, and will do again. To the left of the torso, we can find the severed head with a note in its eye. I apologise for the hard to see image here, I decided to do this part at night for some reason. It's just how the cookie crumbled actually. I did go there when it was daytime, but I didn't find the head then and went back when it was night. But as you can see on one side there's a clue to where the killer is hiding, and on the back it reads the word can. It appears to be part of a puzzle, so let's find the other pieces. In order to find the second grisly scene, we need to go to a different location. Use Valentine for reference here, but you want to be going roughly here. As you can see, we found another clue, and on the back of this clue, it says the word me. On the rock, it says, do you see? So that's two bodies that we found, but the puzzle appears to still have a piece missing. The next location is quite far south east of Valentine, just east of a location known as Braithwaite Manor. Behold.
Now that we have all three pieces of the puzzle, we see the clue. On the back it reads, can you find me? So obviously let's not let this killer down and let's go and locate him. So now we need to go to a location just a little bit southwest of Valentine. Lives are at stake, don't be like me, don't stop for anything, not even this old lady. Anyways, you want to be exploring this area with the question mark. When you arrive just south of the question mark in this little area, you will find a trap door. Open this and proceed to go on inside, though be mindful. The killer willingly led you here. On the desk you will find a note. The note reads, Dear Mr. Editor, I must say, I am alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has dedicated to the recent killings in the region. The perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence, power and no small amount of cunning. He presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication and most probably to the writers of it as well. I would suggest you begin to treat him and his creations with the reverence that they deserve. God help us all, yours, a concerned citizen. Quite clearly a letter planned to be sent to the publishers of this newspaper by the killer himself. In the other room, we can investigate a knife. this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now, I'm not going to lie, it's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. Get banged, dickhead. Now that we've incapacitated the killer, let's tie him up and take him to the sheriff. Okay, let's try to figure out how to ride our horse in a straight line first. Found that fella you were looking for. Which fella? Put him down. Put him down. You've got fella been... been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, you. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Get him off! Get him off me! Yeah. Well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Right here. Here. 
Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Where's a deputy when you need one? And that is a complete guide to the American Dreams Quest in which you hunt the serial killer Edmund Lowry Jr. Now that's all over with, I think we need to head down to the saloon and get a drink because Jesus Christ. What the hell? First time, mister? You. What's your poison? The beer, please. Here's your beer.